teacups and welcome to vlogtober week three so today i am so excited because i received my erin condren planner in the mail and i gotta be honest i did already open it I'm so sorry. I just got really excited and I wanted to take a little peek inside the box. So I did already do the unboxing part, but I thought even better than an unboxing, I would show you how I'm actually going to be using the planner and how I'm going to be using it for YouTube specifically. Oh, and real quick, this is my very first Erin Condren planner. I've always used planners in the past, but I've never really treated myself to a really, really nice one. So yeah, I did splurge a little bit on this. Um, this video is not sponsored, but I do have a referral link down below. So if you click that link, you can save $10 on your planner. So here's my little box, and it says, What you're looking for is not out there, it's in you. Margo has come to join us. <laughs> and then it comes with a few little extra things. These are like little gift tags. And then I really like these. These are really, really cute. And then um, these, we have a happy birthday one, and then we have just a little something from. And then, the most exciting part. So I did actually personalize this planner. Um, I think originally it was in the color gray, but you guys know me, and I really love the color pink. And here, is my new planner. I'm so excited. It is so perfectly me. And like I said, I did personalize the colors. So I have this really nice pastel pink. And then I decided to go with kind of like a goldish yellow color to represent Hufflepuff, of course. And then down here, it says Abigail's cup of tea. So inside the planner, there is this section, which you can use for brainstorming. You can actually use dry erase markers markers on this, which I think is really great because you can plan it out before actually putting it in your planner. And for every month, there is an inspiring quote and it says, you have everything inside you to be and do anything you want. And for here, it says, motivation is what gets you started and planning is what keeps you going. So for this section, I'm going to be doing my reading wrap ups. So there are 12 boxes and I have put a sticker for each box and I've written the month at the top. So then I'll just be putting what books I read during that month and what I rated those books. And then we have another inspiring quote, what you seek is seeking you. And then, so this is the monthly calendar. And this is where I'm going to be planning out my filming, editing, and uploading schedule. So I have this little sticker here because I will be uploading every Sunday. So that sticker is going to go on every Sunday because that stands for uploading. And I don't have my videos planned out this far in advance because this is for January 2019. Um, but I have decided that I'm going to be color coordinating everything. So I have my little Sharpie pens. And then on the side, I am going to be putting my January TBR. So I've already put a sticker there. And then I'm going to be filming on Tuesdays. And then I will be editing every Wednesday. a general idea of what the monthly spread will look like and then you also have your weekly layout so for here I'm just going to put whatever daily tasks I need to get done whether that is for YouTube or just for at home or life in general and then in this little box is where I will keep track of my reading progress so every single day I can see how my reading progress is going and then at the bottom here you have this little notes section and for this I'm going to be putting Putting a weekly Bible verse there and then um, also for every month you have this nice big blank page and for this I'm going to be putting my big to-do list for that month 
month in this section. So I would put to-do list and maybe some cute little stickers and then I would put Margo, really? Honestly. And then I would put like my big tasks that I need to do, like which videos I plan on filming. It's just a nice big overview of what I need to accomplish for the month. I just really like seeing it in a list form. So this is going to be my big to-do list page. Right, Margo? And then you also have another dry erase section, which is really great. And yeah, that is my planner. I also have this notebook, and this is my Kate Spade notebook. It says, she is quick and curious and playful and strong. This one is more of my, it's like my daydreaming notebook, I guess. It's just more of like fun stuff, and it is where I have my fall bucket list. So here is my autumn bucket list, and I just have some stickers. It says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. And it says, early sunsets, warm tea, messy hair, and big sweaters. I have a couple of things crossed off. Um, I've already gone candle shopping. Um, I will have that video linked down below. I have like a whole um, autumn Bath and Body Works haul. Um, and then I've gone autumn clothes shopping, which I still have to show you guys what I picked up. Have had pumpkin spice coffee. Autumn letter board. So I have a little letter board in here and I need to like pick an autumn quote. So I can probably do that next. And then I want to go to a fall festival, a pumpkin patch, a hayride, and I want some caramel apples. <laughs> oh, love, I'd never know. So I call your heart home. No, this time has shown that I won't last it. are about to go to a fall festival and I look forward to this festival every single October and it doesn't feel like Halloween without this festival and this is perfect because actually the first thing on my autumn bucket list at the very very top is fall festival and I think I should be able to cross off everything else as well because um, there will be a pumpkin patch there will be a hayride and there will probably be caramel apples too. So I'm gonna get ready. Um, I know you guys have been asking me lately where I buy a lot of my outfits, so I'll do a quick outfit of the day. Obviously, I'm gonna have to like wear a big jacket and a scarf and a hat because it's gonna be freezing, but um, this is what I have on currently. I have this super soft top on from Forever 21. Um, the skirt is also from Forever 21. I'm gonna have to put some tights on because like I said, it's very, very cold out. Um, but yeah, most of my fall outfits are either from Forever 21 or H&M or ASOS. And I will have these two things linked in the description box if I can find them online. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And I wanted to tell you guys, so I started reading the, what's it called? The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. And this book is the perfect autumnal read. I wanted to read part of it to you guys because it is such an atmospheric read and it just, perfectly puts autumn into words and it's just so great so i just wanted to try to find the part that i really liked i really need to start tabbing my books again because now i can't find it it's when the town wakes up from summer's sweaty sleep and exhales some strange magic stirring inside it you feel it shift transforming a place as stiff as a book spine into a maze of haystacks wreaths and garlands the air crisps and sweetens, and breathing it in is like taking the first bite of a freshly picked apple. In the dark midnight hours of October, the trees of Main Street set themselves ablaze with color. They lean over the streets and create a canopy of dazzling gold when the sunlight hits them just right. I still haven't found the right blend of pink to capture it, and maybe I never will.
what's going on with my hair. <laughs> Like what is actually happening? So Harold and I are back from the festival. I am gonna go take my makeup off and probably do a little bit more reading of Prosper Redding. Like I said before, it's just the perfect autumn read. So I think it'll be a really great end to a night like this. So it's really chilly outside. So I'm just gonna cozy up with a blanket and I have my autumn candle going and yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.